Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Meghan Markle causing problems for royal family with her political agenda, says a shocking claim. Meghan Markle has been an outspoken supporter of several charitable causes since joining the royal family through her marriage to Prince Harry in 2018. But after the Duchess of Sussex was revealed as a guest editor for Vogue, issue focused on promoting female trailblazers, Meghan was warned against divine diving too close to the political sphere. Journalist Toby Young claimed the Duchess has been trying to make the royal family more aware of specific social issues. Mr. Young said, The problem is, his wife clearly has a particular political agenda. She is the woke Duchess and she sees it as her life's work to make the royal family woke. For a member of the royal family to take such an inadvertently political stance is always a bad idea because they are funded by the taxpayers and therefore they have an obligation to remain above the political sphere. The Duke and Duchess already faced criticism last month after a newly published royal record revealed the couple had spent £2.5 million of taxpayers' money to renovate their home in Frogmore Cottage. However, Meghan would not be the first member of the royal family to have delved into political issues, as Prince Charles was previously accused of undermining his position due to his interest in politics. The Prince of Wales has never masked his interest on a variety of topics, ranging from climate change to architecture, plunging the family into a decade-long debate between the government and the public on the release of letters the Prince had sent to political figures. Between 2005 and 2015, the Guardian newspaper attempted to secure the release of the so-called Black Spider Memos, documenting exchanges between Prince Charles and several ministers. Royal author Katie Nichol explained, It was a scandal for the very simple reason that it appeared to show the Prince of Wales meddling. We don't expect members of the royal family to be political. They are not allowed to be political. Yet, here was the future king meddling, as far as the Guardian was concerned, in matters that didn't concern him. Prince William also appeared to have a close relationship with the government ministers, but instead he did not lobby them over policy, merely pointing them towards people I think they should see. Speaking to GQ in 2017, the second in line to the throne revealed he had become interested in politics, but lamented his inability to intervene. William said watching from afar as was frustrating at times, as he remained aware he must not attack government policy because of his position. The prince also said he sought to focus his efforts on charity, charity work, <laughs> to help make changes he could not otherwise make as a royal. He said, I have written to ministers, but purely to point them towards people I think they should see. So a charity might ask me if I can help with someone, and I can get them access to the people in government. There are issues I am interested in, and I am happy to connect people to ministers. Indeed, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, too, seem focused on launching their own charity after breaking up from Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge's Royal Foundation last month. The couple earlier this week unfollowed every Instagram account they followed and urged their supporters to nominate people and charitable causes most deserving of publicity. The Duke and Duchess wrote on their personal profile, For the month of August, we look to you for help. We want to know who your forces for change is. Each month, we change the accounts we follow to highlight various causes, peoples, <laughs> people or organizations, doing amazing things for their communities and the world at large. Over the next few days, please add your suggestions into the comment section. Someone you look up to, the organization doing amazing work that we should all be following, an account that inspires you to be and to do better, or that simply makes you feel good, or the handle that brims with optimism for a brighter tomorrow. We will choose 15 accounts and follow them next Monday as we spent the month of August acknowledging the forces for change in all of our lives. Meghan and Harry have just weeks to go until they officially launch their environmental and community initiative 
after splitting their charitable pursuits from the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. And that is all for today's episode. If you like, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment, and I'll see you on the next one.